Hello and welcome back to my plus size championship with Kimi Raikkonen. Today, yep, yeah, it's going to be the big one. It's Monaco. Definitely going to be a difficult race against the AI. We're fourth in the championship behind our teammate Vettel. And the two Mercedes are easily going ahead. 23 points difference between Vettel and Hamilton. And that's all I can see difference at the moment. And hopefully we'll do well in Monaco. Moss. Hill, Lauda, Prost, Senna, Schumacher. Just some of the names of those who've won the prestigious Monaco Grand Prix. But which one of our drivers today will join that list of Monte Carlo greats? It looks like that would qualify sixth here. Let's hope to get a good start on kicking out. It was a very slow start. Bottas has easily gained us, rounding out inside of this corner. But we're gonna stick around the outside, slowly just tap into Kvyat, but it's fine, nothing was broken. Let's try to get a good run on Kvyat. Wide turn in on Monaco it is very tight here as it is a street circuit and it's one of the most famous street circuits of all the most of most of the motorsport. On the inside of Kvyat, trying to get our teammate now. We Kvyat, I think, has lost part of his front wing, but because he's chipped a bit of it off by our rear wheel, I think. Oh, we went wide there. This is terrible. Bottas is going to have an easily better exit on that turn. We're going to leave him room because I think he is there. Yep. I'm going to try to stick it here. No. That was terrible by me. I'm sorry, you guys. See that? But. Try and get more time with Kvyat. If you remember on the free lap championship with Zach Roski, this is one of the most dangerous tries to drive on as I kept on crashing in my... And it is one of the hardest tracks, especially if you are with the controller. We're going to try and get more time to Kvyat in these couple of turns as the Red Bull is quite slow in these sort of turns and the Ferrari this is where it's good at better acceleration and off we go on the inside squeeze him out a bit gonna leave him room just in case he's there doesn't look like he's there so I'm just gonna take this nice and slow and we are now P5 behind our teammate once again Sebastian is just ahead of you. we get a better exit than Kvyat there gaining more time on Vettel get a good exit there Good turn in, nice, beautiful, gaining more time on Vettel here. And the other Williams is Bottas. Ooh, did not go well there. Kvyat, I think, has gained back. Oh, went wide, crashing into all. Kvyat's going to have a better exit, put into Rich to try to defend our place. But it looks like he's going to go round the inside. Still there, going to stick it round the outside and hoping to do. Oh, that is. Gonna try. It is now what we might get a red flag here as everyone is stuck. That was that was terrible driving by me. I was too way too late on the brakes there, and we lost our position to Bottas. We are now 4.5 seconds away from Bottas, we're gaining time before we were around 5 seconds. But as it's only a 5 lap race, I don't think we'll be able to catch up with him unless he spins out or misses a breaking point. Ooh, went wide there as well, I should really concentrate instead of talking. Ooh, that was extremely close to the wall there, I'm surprised I did not clip anything and didn't lose my front wing to be honest Ooh. so losing the back end like crazy in some of these corners Called it as one of the and that was the, the Monaco Grand Prix. We finished sixth 
and looks like that we are losing points and Massa has overtook us, Vettel and Hamilton has now taken first on exactly the same points so it's, it will be joint first for the two Mercedes and that was the Monaco Grand Prix and yeah hope you liked the video don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget see you